Yeah. I, I'll, I'll ask you this question or I'll just, I'll just tell you the answer. Cause we got, you know, another five minutes. Um, cardials don't happen sequentially one at a time, well scheduled every hour on the dealer schedule. That shit comes in waves, right? Like right. it's four hours of crickets at the store. And then at four o'clock out of nowhere, <laughs> you've got like four car deals working. And I was a sales manager for years, right? And so what happens is it's me and my other manager, Robert, are on the desk right now. And now Robert's out bidding a trade. I'm working car deals. There's three salespeople lined up in front of me. If you're the fourth salesperson to show up with your customer from the test drive and to walk over to your desk and to come to the tower to get a payment, how long does it take that fourth salesperson to get a payment? Yeah. 15, 20 minutes, right? Okay, so think about this for a moment. When's the customer's buying temperature the highest? The moment they get back from a test drive. And if you're sitting out there for 15 to 20 minutes, not knowing what's going on, what's happening to that buying temperature? Yeah, time kills deals. Okay, so think about this. If you ever sit anywhere for 15 minutes, Michael, without knowing what's going on, what does it make you feel like doing? Leaving. Okay, now when we psychologically trigger a customer to leave, Right. Yep. Like we trigger, we literally subconsciously program them to want to leave. What's the number one technique of salespeople to try and keep that customer there? Give away gross. Okay. So sure. what's it going to take? Okay. If I can maybe save you some more money. Hey, if I can get you another 500,000, right. right. We literally go into like desperation mode. So what we're doing is subconsciously triggering this customer to want to leave. And then we're sending salespeople out who's literally trying to figure out what it's going to take to keep them there. And that's the first interaction. And what's crazy is, is you have this, like, I got an argument with a general manager at NADA dealer Academy about a month ago. He's like, well, it's because a customer wants to negotiate. And I was like, hold up. First car deal I worked uh, was a, a Mazda uh, uh, on paper at, at a Mazda store in California. And I take out the numbers, salesperson's working the deal. She's freaking out. Hey, will you, will you present the numbers to my customer? Yeah, I got you, bro. I come out, sit down. It's a young lady buying a used 19 CX-30 Mazda certified. I sit down, I go over the numbers. With 10% down at 60 months, here's your payment. If that looks good to you, go ahead and sign here and we'll start the process, right? She goes, oh, well, I wanted to put five grand down. I go, okay. Hang on, I get up and I walk back over. Sales manager I was working with, nowhere to be found, out walking the lot somewhere. Other sure. sales manager sitting there. Hey, the Jones though, she wants to know what it is with five grand out. Who? Jones, it's in the system. Okay, has to find the right tab, right? Has to go in, she put the five grand down, prints it out, hands it to me. I walk the like 25 yards back to the customer. I sit down, I go over the info and she goes, oh, well, on my last one, I went 72 months. What would it be at 72 months? Hang on, I get up, I walk back over there. Now that manager's gone, now Gabby's at the desk. I sit down with Gabby, like, hey, I need you to hook me up with a, this is 72 months, let's go, right? GM walks up at that time. Now they're talking to each other. I'm not getting any attention. I'm like, hey, I got a car deal, I got a car deal. And then by the time I get back out there, her uncle showed up, who's now the third baseman, who's going, hey, I leased a new one for your niece a few months ago. It was a less payment than this. Why don't you look at leasing a new one? Okay, all of that is the like start and stop, start and stop. And what's wild to me is that dealer had a digital retail tool on their website where a customer could have immediately answered all that information. And what you see is when you use our in-store solution and you turn the screen to the customer and you go, okay, let's build your deal together. They take ownership of the deal and then they go, okay, well, what would it be with five grand down? Okay, what would it be? At seven? And they just click through it and right. it leads them deeper and deeper into the process. And uh, I know, cause I just bought a car through it like you did. I leased a, uh, a, a Kia EV9 from Ferguson Kia here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They're an auto fi dealer. I show up at Ferguson. They literally told me, cause I train on like, hey, just go sit down and build your deal. I sit down at one of the computers there. I log in, right? I build my deal in AutoFi and I did something that I have told, I would have told you not to do, right? right. When I get in the customer, I'm building out my lease. I'm going 24 months. I'm at 10,000 miles because it's just our around town car. We got the giant sprinter that we drive anywhere. And I put, I put $1,300 down. I've told everyone in the world, don't ever, why would you put money down on a lease? That's so stupid. Why would you? And I did it because it made my payment a hundred dollars cheaper than what I'm paying right now. And that felt good. And so I just did it. Got to the end. I was like, 
I'm an idiot. No, I'm not. I'm just a human who <laughs> is, is now shifted from selling cars to buying them on my budget and thinking about what I want to do. And I found myself behaving like a customer. Okay. Okay.